Jawan, let's start with this. Uh, zero quarterback pressures from you through two games of the season. When you hear that, what's your reaction? Um, just want to keep going, keep working, um, keep getting better every week, and uh, just help my team win games. That's all. For your personal game, what are you most proud of growth-wise from last year to this year? Um, just getting better. I'm just trying to get better every game and uh, just stay consistent. My whole thing is uh, just being consistent and, you know, showing what I did in the offseason, my work I put in, uh, you know, just trying to show that it paid off. But um, nowhere where I want to be at yet, just want to keep staying consistent. What do you think this offense proved last week, especially this offensive line? Um, how explosive we can be. Um, and I feel like offensive line up front, we can establish a run game up front. And I uh, feel like we just got to keep going, keep staying consistent as a unit, and uh, we can we can do great things. Obviously, it's uh, quite a challenge this upcoming Coming week, what do you see from Khalil Mack, Joey Bosa on tape? Uh, two great edge rushers, uh, and you know they can they can wreck games if they want to. So you know we just got to do our job and uh, go out and have a great week of practice to prepare for those guys. When you look at the Chargers defense, does it run through the two of them, or does it run through Derwin James in that second? It runs through Derwin, uh, J.C. Jackson, and the two guys up front. Um, but you know they have great players all over the field, not just on defense. So uh, we just got to be prepared for that. Do you think that their defense like gets talked about enough with like the offense and Justin Herbert and all the success they've had? I mean, where does yeah. this defense rank of ones you faced? Oh, they rank pretty high. Uh, definitely up front. Um, I feel like they have two of the best edge rushers in the league up front. So uh, we just got to be prepared for that. And uh, you know, I feel like they get a lot of buzz. And even though they may not get a lot of buzz, I feel like they should. They have a great, great defense. You were part of the Jaguars team that last won out on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's there's been this bugaboo about the Jaguars can't win when they go on the West Coast? <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, you know, I feel like we just gotta you know get it together and uh, go out there and just try to get us a win. You were at SoFi last year. What's mm -hmm. unique about that venue? Oh, very nice, very nice stadium out there in uh, Inglewood, California. Kind of can get a little hot in there, get a little warm, but uh, it's it's a great environment. I think I saw what for opening week it was like 98. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, can get, it can get warm in there. Yeah. Is it turf or what exactly is uh, it? I think it is turf. Yeah, it's turf, but uh, it's a very nice stadium. You know, they just opened it up recently, but it's, it's very nice. For you guys as offensive linemen, when you hear turf, you guys, <laughs> yeah. what's the yeah. reaction? Yeah, we don't really like turf too much. You know, it can it can mess with your knees, it mess with your back because it's such a hard surface. So, uh, you know, we just got to practice on grass as much as we can. You know, we preparing for it. And uh, when we get done playing the game, just try to recover as quickly as possible. What is the biggest thing you guys, after your your first one of the season when you guys went out for practice today what was the biggest focus um just bringing energy and uh just trying to keep it going uh keep keep wins coming and uh stay consistent keep practicing hard and uh everything starts with the preparation so just trying to have a good week of preparation so thanks